What is that smell? Alice thinks it's bad luck to change her socks. So we all have to suffer? Well, oh, stay. Get away. Get away. Outfielders! I want you to play deep a couple of steps. I don't want to give up anything long. Alice, hmm? if the leadoff here gets on, they're going to bunt. Be ready. All right. Now, I'd like to... I'd like to lead you all in a little prayer. Huh? Come on. A prayer? What? Come on. Oh, uh, uh, oh, yeah, oh yeah, it's a little serious. prayer. Come on. Come on. Yeah. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Okay, good. Uh, Lord, hallowed be thy name. May our feet be swift. May our bats be mighty. May our balls be plentiful. And Lord, I just like to thank you for that waitress in South Bend. You know who she is. She kept calling your name. And God, these are good girls, and they work hard. Just help them see it all the way through. Okay, that's it. <clears throat> Let's go. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> okay. Go. go. Captain, relax. Nobody get hurt. No Al Qaeda here. Just business. We want money. When we get paid, everything gonna be okay. The ship. Where from? A uh, ship. Uh, America. It's an American ship. America? <laughs> yes! yes! You? Yankee. Me? You? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yankee or Irish? Yeah. But I can have the Irish Allah. Irish. 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 Okay, Irish. What else you carry? What do you mean? TV, car. A TV, TV, car. No, no. We just, uh, we just got the. Dollars. Uh, we do. Kenny. Cap Kenny, what do we have in the safe? We got like what, thirty, thirty, uh, thirty thousand dollars in the safe? Uh, about. Yeah, like we got like. It, we have in the safe. We got thirty thousand dollars. It's yours. Thirty thousand dollars. What am I? Do I look like a beggar? We got a problem. We pushed the ship too hard. We're off the grid. That means the computer's now offline. Captain. The ship's broken. Captain, no one get hurt if you don't play no game. Uh, it's The ship's broken. We had to go. Nobody gets hurt. Easy. Hey! Look at me, sure. Look at me, sure. I'm the captain now. You like a bush? Sweater that I I do, but I can't see colors very well. Isn't that funny? Hmm? Look at that. Look at that. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, son. He's talking to you. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. All right. Hmm? No, don't do that, sweetheart. That that sword looks off. Awfully sharp and heavy, too. Not really. No? Well, you must be very strong in order to hold it like that. And I bet you are very strong on the inside, too.
Oh, 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 I like that. Terribly Thank you. sorry, Fred. Yes, we need to yes. start. Can I, can I take your picture? Hmm? Yes. yes. <laughs> Everybody make sure you can see me now. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much for coming down and visiting us in the neighborhood. Folks, if you'll follow me. Okay. Thank you. Good job. How often does this happen? Every day. Remembering that you're under oath. Answering truthfully. Can you see the lesions on your face in this mirror from three feet away? Answering truthfully. Well, I, at the time I was fired, I had four lesions and they were much bigger. Could you answer the question, please? No, no, I, I can't, can't really see. No. No more questions, Your Honor. I think this would be a good time to break for the day. We can reconvene in the morning. I hate this case. Uh, Your Honor, may I have uh, five minutes and redirect? Mr. Beckett, can you go on for five minutes? Three minutes. Yes, yes. May I borrow your mirror, please? Andrew. Do you have any lesions on any part of your body at this time that resemble the lesions you had on your face at the time that you were fired? Yes. On my tor torso. Your torso. If it please the court, I would like to ask Andrew to remove his shirt so that, you know, everyone here could uh, get an accurate idea of what we're talking about. Objection, Your Honor. It would unfairly influence the jury. Your Honor, if Andrew was forced to use a wheelchair due to his illness, would the defense ask him to park it outside because it would unfairly influence the jury? Come on, we're talking about AIDS. We're talking about lesions. Let's see what we're talking about. I'll allow it, Mr. Beckett. Would you please remove your shirt? My God, what a nightmare. He asked for it. Andrew, can you see the lesions on your chest in this mirror? Yes. Thank you. If there was one question I was allowed to ask. Oh, go ahead. People who truly loved once are far more likely to love again. Sam, do you think that there's someone out there you could love as much as your wife? Well, Dr. Marshall Fieldstone, I, that's hard to imagine. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do? Well, I'm, I'm going to get out of bed every morning. Breathe in and out all, all day long. And then after a while, I won't have to remind myself to get out of bed in, in the morning and breathe in and out. And, and then after a while, I, I won't have to think about how I had it great and perfect for a while. Sam, tell me what was so special about your wife. Well, how long is your program? Oh, well, it was a, oh, it was a million tiny little things that when you added them all up, it, it just meant that we were supposed to be together. And I knew it. And I knew it the very first time I touched her. 
It's like coming home. Only to know home I, I, I'd ever known. I, I was just taking her hand to help her out of a car. And I knew it. It was like... Magic. Magic. Captain Phillips, please come in. Have a seat. Try my shoe. I'm Chief O'Brien. I'll be your corpsman today, OK? Can you please tell me what's going on? Can you talk? Can you tell me what's going on? Yeah, uh, uh, I'm OK. Are you OK? Because you don't look OK. Are you in any pain right now? Are you in any pain uh, right now? Uh, Right there on your side. OK, let me see it really quick. Can you lift up your arm a little bit? Does that hurt? A little bit? A little bit. OK, is it tender? Go ahead and put your arm down. OK, I need you to look at me. I need you to calm down. I need you to breathe. There you go. Deep breaths. There you go. Very good. Awesome. Now I want you to relax your arm. OK, we're going to put this little thing on your finger, and we're going to get your heart rate and your oxygen level. Make sure you're breathing OK. OK. I want you to keep doing that, OK? What happens to your head? Captain, can you tell me what happened to your head? Put it on your head. Uh, they, uh, 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 there is. Uh, it's okay. Take your time. Take your time. There's a two centimeter laceration on the left eyebrow. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I want you to look at me and I want you to breathe. Do you understand, yeah, Captain? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. There's about a four centimeter gap. A little laceration there on the left temple. Okay, very good. All right, you're doing great, okay? Did all this blood come from your eyebrow and your head? What? Did all the blood come from your eyebrow right here and on your head? Well, not all not, of this? No, not all of it. Okay. That's not mine. Okay, all right, all right, look at me. Okay, we're gonna lay you down, okay? okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Won't you lay down nice and gently? Nice and gently, okay? Uh, you're okay, I got you. There you go. Uh, Very good. Captain, you're safe now, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. You're okay. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Does my family know? Your family knows you're safe, and you will be able to call them as soon as you are taken care of. Sir, I need you to breathe, okay? <laughs> you are safe and you are fine. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. <laughs> Everything's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Can I ask you a question? You got a moment? Mm -hmm. Which team do you play for? Well, I I'm a peach. Well, I was just wondering, because I couldn't figure out why you would throw home when we've got a two-run lead. You let the tying run get on second, and we lost the lead because of you. Now you start using your head. That's that love that's three feet above your ass. <laughs> Are you crying? No. Are you crying? Are you crying? <laughs> There's no crying. There's no crying in baseball. Why don't you leave her alone, Jimmy? Oh, you zip it, Doris. Rogers Hornsby was my manager, and he called me a talking pile of pig shit. And that was when my parents drove all the way down from Michigan to see me play the game. And did I cry? No, no. Yes! <laughs> no! And you know why? No. Because there's no crying in baseball. There's no crying in baseball! No crying! What's the matter, Jimmy? What? She's crying, sir. I didn't mean to do that. Perhaps you chastised her too vehemently. Good rule of thumb. Treat each of these girls as you would treat your mother. You want to ever tell you look like a penis with a little hat on? Bye. Bye, Jonah. Bye. Jonah. Listen to me. You don't know Victoria. I hardly know her myself. She is, in fact, a mystery to me. She, she tosses her hair a lot. Why does she do this? I have no idea. Is it a twitch? Does she need a haircut? Does she use a barrette to keep her hair out of her face? These are things I'm willing to get to the bottom of. And that is why I am dating her. That's all I'm doing. 
not living with her, I'm not marrying her. Can, can you appreciate the difference? This is what single people do. They try other people on and see how they fit. But everybody's an adjustment. Nobody's perfect. There's no such thing as a perfect. Come on. Have you ever felt the way Lloyd does? So angry you want to hurt someone or yourself? I know I have. When I was a boy, I was very chubby. And the other kids would chase me and call me names, like Fat Freddy. It made me very sad. Sometimes when I was by myself, I would cry. And other times, it made me very angry. There was always something you can do with the mad that you feel. Thank you.